Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to defuzz clothing and hair um, with a razor. Well, clothing with a razor and hair with scissors. I do have a pet shaver here, but um, let's just be simple and let's just do a, use a razor. So the key is to have the clothing taut on the kid. So super, super taut. Um, otherwise, the fabric gets caught in the razor and um, and then it gets sliced. We don't want to slice. Okay, so yeah. Um, I have my fabric as taut as I can get it. The kiddo's wearing it. Um, that just as well helps in the tautness. And um, you, you, you need to not feel a struggle at all. So no friction. Um, ideally, your razor is just kind of gliding along. And if you feel any resistance, you need to stop. You're going to slice your fabric, okay? So luckily, I have a posable kit here. Easily bendable. Feel some resistance, which means I need to really hold it. Okay. You see, already it's getting less fuzzy. Nice, beautiful, beautiful, nice. starting to look like a worn out sock, you know, where the fabric gets really thin, so I'm going to stop shaving here. Uh, the key essentially is to be very, very, very deliberate and very slow. <laughs> Cengiz? Cengiz? Good boy. That's a good boy. So, now you want to be extremely careful at the seams. Um, that's where it gets torn the most. So here, you're going to notice if you're not careful, you'll get holes in here. I'm not going to use my razor. I'm going to use scissors because I'm going to slice it for sure. Okay, so don't do that area. So I'm just... Anytime you feel resistance or whatnot, just stop shaving. It, it's not worth it. Just take your scissors and cut off lint ball by lint ball. I'm sorry, the lighting's bad here. You see, I don't know how to make room on my phone. I'm a bit of a Luddite that way. And um, my phone is out of room because I take too many pictures of my dolls and my dog. And so I'm making this video on photo booth on my computer. Um, okay. You see that, yeah? Okay. Yeah. You go in this direction, then in the opposite direction, the opposite direction, the opposite direction. Um, you need to be really careful and really deliberate. And so I'm finding it kind of difficult to do that while I have her um, close to the camera. Um, I'm just so scared of ruining um, this shirt. It's really hard to find cabbage half of Cabbage Patch outfits, like that one piece that you're looking for, that hat or that t-shirt. And so if I ruin this t-shirt, I'm not going to find a replacement t-shirt. If I do, it's going to be way too expensive and a lot full of garbage that I don't want. Um, yeah. Or it's going to be with the overalls, but I already have the overalls. So just be careful, guys, and just take your time, okay? That's the key here. Just take your time and be careful. Okay, I'm also going to show you how to defuzz her hair. How to defuzz hair. So this girl is a poodle, so she has loops and she has strands. For the loops, what you want to do is you want to bring this fuzz to the top. Yeah. So you're going to use your fingers. And you're going to bring it to the top. Um, 
Another really good way of bringing the fuzz to the top is after you've shampooed their hair uh, and you've washed it, you take a blow dryer and you blow the, um, the fuzz out. And um, yeah, it's amazing. Then all the fuzz is sticking out. Okay, so now that I have all the fuzz out, I'm gonna bunch it. Like I'm gonna actually um, grab the loops in bunches. Okay. And then I'm going to trim. Okay. Um, yeah, and then so you just keep doing that. So you can also just grab them in bunches like this. Actually, that's probably the way that I do it more naturally anyway. Yeah. I like doing tiny bunches as opposed to big bunches. Okay. Hey Google, play Cabbage Patch music. Hang loose by Cabbage Patch Kids. Sure. Playing on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> hey Google, stop music. <laughs> what on earth did I just experience? So I guess, I guess that's the music that you get on those vintage records. I see those records all the time. The thing is, is I'm not a record player. I'm not a hipster. But you know who is? My sister. So maybe I should buy one of those records. I am, I was pleasantly surprised, you know, one day when you're old and gray and you're hurried and worried, that's me. You can't see, but I have about 30 gray hairs on either side, 30 here, 30 here. And I actually have about 30 over here too. And I used to pull them out, but it's so many now. Like I used to pull them out when I just had 10, but it's so many that now that it's pointless and now I'm boring you with random banter. Okay. So. Um, that's that's uh, the loops, but the strands here, and this is just, this is what they make you do in hell. They make you remove um, fuzz from, from long strands of Cabbage Patch hair. So um, you're gonna notice that like the really, really, really bad dolls, they are like coated like, like the myelin sheath, they're like coated in, in, in like a layer of myelin, like a layer of, of, of fuzz um, um, because of, yeah, how much the hair has been manipulated. And so you need to get all of that fuzz out from every direction. And so, yeah, unfortunately, there is no quick way of doing it. You got to hold the hair and you just hold it taut, okay? And you just snip, snip, snip along. I do not recommend using a razor to do this. It's nine times out of 10 just gonna damage the hair. Um, and it, you know, it does take a really long time. It's a labor of love. And if you get frustrated halfway, just sell your doll as a TLC or something and someone else will fix it. Um, I used to love, love, love fixing up TLCs, but I'm, I'm getting really tired of it too. Um, it's, it is a lot of work. And so unless it's a doll that you absolutely love, I don't really think it's worth it. Or if it's a doll, a whole bunch of dolls in a lot that you need to justify the price of because you love the one doll and you tell yourself, I'm gonna fix up the rest and sell them to make up for the one doll that I wanted. 
then yeah, it's worth it too because that's what I do. But yeah, this girl is, she's so, so, so fuzzy. And so it's not just the tips. Like she needs defuzzing on every single strand and you gotta go slow. I also do like having my lint brush. Okay, so um, that's essentially how you defuzz. You need scissors, fabric shears are the best, um, unless you wanna, you know, dull your grooming scissor blades, but um, grooming scissors work even better. And um, a lint brush is really good to have and a razor. So I hope that was educational and helpful to you. Um, I hope Facebook doesn't pull this video because I played a song, but let's see. Okay, um, happy cabbage restoration and see you later. Bye.